I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. Wanna do this right? There's a doubt in my mind, baby. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Diamond Art Joy. This is Donna. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today and seeing what's going on here at Diamond Art Joy. Uh, today I want to let you know what I have done. Um, this is regarding the Paint Along with Friends February edition Love is in the Air. Um, I guess a few days ago, last week, I uh, showed you a canvas called Puppy Love from Dreamer Designs that I was going to do for the event. But I started it and I had some issues that I really couldn't get past. I wasn't having fun. Um, it's a square and I was experiencing quite a bit of gapping. Um, I don't know if it's an older canvas that, or older kit that has, you know, inconsistent drills or, or whatever, but I was a little disappointed. So I thought, you know what, Donna, you got to follow your your motto and just set this guy aside and start something else um, that makes you happy. So I set that aside. I'm not gonna put it up or anything like that. I'm gonna have it out as a whip and um, I'll get back to it. You know, hopefully I will finish it one day. But in the meantime, with the Paint Along With Friends, I decided to go ahead and um, do another canvas. So I wanted to let you know what I'm doing and where I'm at. I went ahead and unboxed it and kitted it up and started it. But I'll just show you where I'm at. So this is it. Any cute. This one's called Valentine Spaniel by Mary Line Casanave. This is a Diamond Art Club canvas, but I purchased it on Amazon. And um, it was $14.99. This was back, I think, before the end of the year. They might have had, you know, some specials there on Amazon. So I couldn't resist this little guy. He is 29 colors, poured glue, full drill, round. Yeah, and he has one Aurora Borealis, which is right here in his nose. So this little guy, he's popping up out of what looks to me like a like a little popcorn container. I don't know. Some kind of container that would hold food. And then we've got some little scrumptious looking cup, cupcakes around here. So uh, I started here up at the top. And then I turned it around and started on the bottom. You know what? I don't know why I do that. I don't always do it, but... Uh, I don't know, it's just the way I'm doing things right now. I go just a certain distance here and then I'll turn it around. But this one's so small, I mean the canvas is easy to, you know, manipulate and maneuver. So it's not one of those big ones that you have to worry about going off the side of the table and such. But anyway, I thought he was cute. Um, I've got my little love washi tape around here. I take the plastic off and I put down this parchment paper. I don't know. I like doing that better than the plastic. But as far as tools go, I'm using the, the glue dots. Um, this pen is from Butterfly Effect Wares. It's one of my favorite pens. I have a single placer here and a six placer for multi-placing. Um, I love Butterfly Effect Wears Putty, among others, but right now I'm using this. It's the Fruity Cereal Dot Dot Putty, and it smells just like Fruit Loops. So good. <laughs> and for drill storage, I watched Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. Yeah, she's one of my favorite channels. You guys ever watch her? She's a hoot, isn't she? She's just cracks me up. You're guaranteed to get a laugh when you go to her her channel. I just love her to death. But anyway, I watched her open up um, these art dot uh, containers. I don't know. It was probably around Christmas time or 
you know, that, that general time frame. And um, what sold me on this, well, she sold me on it, is that, first of all, like many other containers, you can get different sizes. This one only holds 60, 60 round containers, but you can get double and triple layers. But this is what sold me, guys. This piece of foam right here, it is really, really stiff. It's not, it doesn't, you know, bend. It's not really flimsy like some of the other brands are. This just, it just stays straight like a table. And I like that because I have used some other brands that, you know, I'll end up taking this out of this container and I'll just take this with me where I go instead of the whole thing. And, you know, I'm like, oh gosh, you know, these containers are going to fall out, you know, yucks. But this one just stays straight. So thanks, Diane. I was sold on your presentation, girl. Thanks for letting me know about this. This is the forest version. I think they have different uh, colors and um, combinations of, they have like a, a blue one and one that they call Australia version, which is orange, I believe. The blue one is from like the north, kind of icy looking. And then there's this forest one. It's just cute. Kind of looks camo, right? So anyway, these containers are just the round containers with that screw top. And this whole uh, thing came, came with all this. Not this label, but it came with the this funnel here and all these goodies right here tray wax pins a couple trays bags tweezers i haven't even opened that up yet this is my uh, aurora borealis here that's in my canvas it's a uh, looks to be like a black color and it's in his nose and his eyes on there so Thanks, Diane. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you. This one's a bit smaller. That's not right why I picked this, but, um, you know, it was appropriate. You know, it's still a dog. I love dogs, and it goes along with the theme of the paint along. So just wanted to tell you where I was at on that. Um, next time you see it, it'll be finished when I do my final review. But as any other Diamond Art Club canvas, it's great, you know. You've got plenty of stick. You've got the pretty um, uh, sparkly canvas itself. Great drills. And um, it's very enjoyable. So, um, yeah, I will see you next time with something different. But, but with this, I'll be back and show you the final for this probably next week. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for understanding. And, you know, sometimes this happens, you know. You just you get a canvas, and for whatever reason, it doesn't um, make you feel good about what, what's going on. So there's no, no sense in keeping on with something if you don't enjoy it. So I'm just setting it aside right now, and maybe I can figure out a different way to approach it. <laughs> so guys, I'll see you next time, and remember to paint and have fun and enjoy yourself. It's Bye now. Time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured.